So much outrage at two apartment complexes in Stanford after a new owner takes over. News 12 was contacted by several residents with complaints of sudden large rent increases, no staff on the property, and no one to get a hold of or no way to get a hold of anybody. News 12 Connecticut's Marissa Alter spoke to tenants who worry they'll now be displaced. This place was like uh, like one of Stanford's jewels. We've loved where we've lived. This was a kind of a hidden secret. Daycroft Apartments and Sister Complex Hamilton Gardens have a combined total of 188 garden style apartments, units more affordable than other places in Stanford. Their website lists monthly rent for a one bedroom apartment at $1,440 and a two bedroom for $1,660. Upgraded units at Daycroft are about 200 more. It's not uh, one of these brand new places that are all fixed up and high maintenance. You know, it's uh, just a safe, clean place to live. Residents tell us there were no extra fees and on-site staff was always available. Then the last week of December, the properties were suddenly bought by Empire Realty out of Brooklyn, New York. My apartment will be going up $350 a month. For others, that number was $400. Residents say they've tried to get answers from Empire Realty, but no one answers the phone. We called and emailed the company with questions, but didn't get a response back. This really feels like a way that undermines what our administration is trying to, to do and to, to make Stanford more affordable. Robert Rochetta not only lives here, he's on the Stanford Board of Representatives and the committee to create more affordable housing opportunities. And here I am getting pushed out of one. There's been some people getting notices about mid-lease increases in terms of price. Um, and a lot of people have reached out to me because they didn't know whether that was something that could be done or not. Susie Calabrese lives in Hamilton Gardens and is also a realtor with the Riverside Realty Group. Calabrese has been in talks with the city's Fair Rent Commission. There is no rent control in the state of Connecticut, but they wouldn't be able to increase our rent mid-lease. Still many residents say whenever the hike comes, they won't be able to afford it. I don't know what my future is going to be. There's a lot of uh, seniors here too. You know, it's going to be tough for them. In Stanford, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. Stanford's Social Services Commission coordinator says she has spoken to Empire Realty and is now looking into the situation. We'll continue to follow up on this story.